Hi, I'm Jim Reynolds, the Chief Operating Officer for Capital Orthopedics. On, and on behalf, we want to thank the Chamber and all that you guys do, and we're excited to be here. We've actually been in Ankeny since 2002, but within the last year, we actually have moved here to the location here in the district, and we're excited to have that. I want to call out today, I have Matt Favor from DRA Properties, who did the build out here. So as you see the clinic, you'll see some exciting new features and, and some state of the art pieces in there. So we welcome the chamber to walk through. We have some cookies and some punch in there for you. Um, so please feel free to do that. If I may, what I would like to do is introduce the physicians that are actually here today. So I have Dr. Bill Jacobson, Dr. Todd Peterson, Dr. Jeff Peterson, Dr. Zach Ibrahim and Dr. Erica Evans, <laughs> better known in Ankeny as Erica Juno. <laughs> um, and then also, coming to the practice in March, we're excited to announce that we're going to open up five days a week here in the Ankeny location. And I have Dr. Eric Reynolds that will be getting practice here at that time. A couple of things about Capital Orthopedics. We have 11 physicians, four of them are general orthopods, three of them are foot and ankle surgeons, um, one hand surgeon, one spine surgeon, one physiatrist, and um, two that will be in kind of a walk-in clinic mode, one out in Clive, and then one here in Ankeny starting in March. Um, also, we have four mid-level providers that help support our physicians throughout their clinical days, both in surgery and in the office. So once in a while, you might see a physician assistant versus one of our physicians. We are a, we like to think of ourselves as we offer everything the large orthopedic practices have, but we do it from a smaller scale. We have, one of the, well, the, actually in the community, we have in the metro community, we have the largest closed MRI um, being offered. So anybody that's a little bit bigger, we actually can fit them into our closed MRI. That was actually purchased last year, um, and so we're excited to have that on board. We also have a physical therapy department, in which we have two physical therapists and an occupational therapist. Um, we are heavy into sports medicine. Um, our physicians will um, attend football and, and some of the other sporting events of the high schools around the area. Um, and they've been in Ankeny for several years um, helping on the sidelines there and then seeing the students the next day. Um, we also are the team physicians for the Iowa Wild. And so um, come on out and support the Iowa Wild ones. So with that, um, I believe that I can turn it back over. All right, let's get those scissors open and through the ribbon. <laughs> All right, and on the count of three, everybody count with me. Ready? One, two, three. Woohoo! As we walk out of the main lobby and we come into the exam rooms, we have six exam rooms stationed throughout. This obviously is exam room one. They're all pretty much set up in the same exact fashion as um, you would expect of most exam rooms from an orthopedic perspective. So, couple, number two, number three, and then we get over here to number four, and we got this one set up a little bit different because we do our EMGs out of this particular room. So, it's a little bit bigger room to give us a little bit more space for the patient and, um, as we're doing the examination. Then, one of the things that we did during this particular move was we brought the nurses' stations together to where we were centrally located from a nurse perspective. Um, and so the physicians will come out, talk with the nurses, and make decisions about what's going to go on in the patient's room, and then they'll go back in. Also, we have our brand new state-of-the-art x-ray room. Um, this was brought in one year ago and is up and running and given the people with Ankeny exactly what they need from an x-ray perspective. The rest of the office includes a break room, physician office, 
break room here so that the staff have a little place to be. And then back here is the physician's office in which they will go in and they will do their dictation of what they saw from a patient's perspective.